welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Josh, I'm in year 13. And this year I'm just documenting things that go on, just trying to be useful basically. That consists of vlogs, stories, and just some random things. So if you're into that type of content, subscribe and join the family. In today's video, I'm just gonna go through like uh, the story of like, how I got a scholarship to a private school. And like in that, like there'll be things to help you to get a scholarship if that's what you want or if you just want to learn something I'm being doing. So let's get into it. All right, so first of all, you might have noticed that I've had a haircut. No, I didn't break down any lockdown measures. I did it myself. Like, give, give me a rating in the comments down below. So I think I did okay. It's not the first time I've had to cut my hair on here. So yeah, that's it. It was like, it was two years ago and I was playing against like this private school team. If you're into basketball in the UK, you will know who these people are. Like, actually, I don't even know why I'm speaking so anonymous. Like, Queen Ethelberger's Collegiate, that's what they're called. So I went over to play a game against them. And all, all I knew before going there, that it was a private school. And boy, whoa. When I got into the, like, their compound, it blew my mind, honestly. The facilities are crazy. So, like, when I went in, played in, I went to the game, and the, the stands were packed. Like, the, all their seats were filled with students, and they were all booing my team. We eventually lost that game by four, but I felt that I played really well, and I did win my matchup. So I thought, bro, I could, I should try to get into this school. So. Type E, type, type. I went on my on the computer and was like trying to see if I could get into the school. And then I looked at the prices. Like it's really, really expensive. And after doing my research, I found out that they're the second most expensive like private school to get into in the UK. So ahead of time, if you're like thinking of applying, apply as soon as you can and apply to a multitude of schools, not just the one. I went online onto their scholarship section and then I wrote a massive paragraph, not, not even a paragraph, a massive essay using all the English English language I've learned in secondary school to send to like, this person that runs the admissions. So I typed that and then I sent it off. But honestly, I'm going to be frank with you, I didn't think they were going to respond. I just thought that a private school wouldn't talk back to me. But surprisingly, a few days later, I got an email from like someone and then they, she complimented me and stuff. And then she asked me to send a sports portfolio. So one of the tips that I'm saying for people who are into looking about a private school is have a sports, sports portfolio and your academics already in hand when you send the initial email. I, cause like, it'll just be quicker than what I have to do. So what I did is that I told my PE teacher at school so, um, about my the potential opportunity and he helped me to collect data about myself, like how fast I run, how fast I can jump and all that stuff. So right now on your screen, we're gonna put on my, my, sport, my sports portfolio. So I attached that as well with my, my most recent data collection onto the, onto the email and sent it off to the lady. The next day, literal next day, she invited me to go to the school to have this like cognitive ability test. She sent the email the next day, but the cognitive ability test was like in a few weeks, like, I think it was like a month's time. So it was at that point that I told my parents and they were quite proud of me to get to that stage. And like they did read the email that I initially sent and they were happy with it. So. I think you guys, you should, you, you should probably tell your parents first about your aspirations before you go out and try to like email anyone. So that's just what I did, but I, had, I didn't have any problems. So I spent that month revising like how to, like how to do a cognitive ability test. I did several online and I did download a multitude of apps on my phone that were like proven or suggested to improve your cognitive ability. And I just did that for a while. I did tons of word sort games, puzzles. That's that's what the test is going to be initially. For if you're applying for an academic scholarship, don't worry. The initial test 
is a cognitive ability one. Just to, they say that they don't care what score you get, but I'm pretty sure that they have a threshold of who they could, would consider for a scholarship. After a few months, no, one, after one month, me and my dad, we went to the school, once again, blown away by the facilities. And I, I'm not gonna lie, my dad was too. So we went in and then I did the test. Honestly, it was so long. It took, it took like two hours at least, but they were very hospitable. Like they gave me tea and stuff, gave me biscuits. Like they're very nice people. Yeah, so after the test, a few days, I think like a week or so later, I got an email again from the school. She said that she was happy with my cognitive ability test and invited me for a scholarship day. So initially I was only supposed to go there for a day and come back. However, like my parents wouldn't have been able to get me there early in the morning because QE is in York and it, was, it wouldn't be convenient. So I went there and I stayed there overnight with some people in year 13. I was in year 11 at the time. So they were on scholarship as well for academics and like they had a spare bed. So I stayed in there for the night and the morning. So they were very, it was very, very chill. They introduced us in the afternoon because I got there around five o'clock and like we, I went down and had dinner in the like canteen, <sighs> top notch food. And they literally had a Transformers figure as like, as just as a monument in their, in their cafeteria for no reason. If I find a picture on the internet, I'll put it up there. Yeah. And then I woke up the next day, like they had on sweets. So I quickly had a shower. I woke up, I woke up earlier than the other two dudes because I didn't want to be an inconvenience to them. So I quickly had a shower and then just waited for them to get ready before I went to the, I went to the school. Okay. If you're going on a scholarship day, make sure your uniform is banging. Everyone there was wearing expensive, nice suits. Trust me, you don't want to be looking scruffy. So after then, I had breakfast and then I went to the hall. I met all the other people who were there trying to get a scholarship. That was including athletic and academic people. And then that's when the academic and the athletic people branched off. Initially, we went to a lesson. Like I went, they, they took me to a sports lesson. I learned about ATP and stuff. So like it wasn't too bad. And I, in fact, met one of the people who were on the basketball team. So we just had a quick little chat. So after that, we went back and then we went to the gym. And then they did a, they did a, a multitude of like, like not, not assessments, tests, like assessments on our physique and stuff. Like how many pull-ups you can do, how many like, push-ups, crunches, squats, how fast you can run. And then after that, they did another workout. And because I've been working out since I was 13, like I was better than most people. And there were some people who like blew me out the water. After that, about meaning to, meaning to say, while we were doing all these physical activities, I'm pretty sure that the ac academic scholars, they were doing tons and tons of tests. The gym session was full of everyone from all, all types of sports, some rugby dudes, some badminton guys, um, some um, hockey dudes. So before lunch, we went to play basketball on the basketball court for an hour. So they can obviously assess what skill level I was at. So like, that was like another sport for the other people. So I met all the other people who had went to the gym first, then went to lesson and yeah. I also got to meet Elijah Walsh. It wasn't in fact the first time I met him. I met him at a tournament before. So we just said hi again and he was part of the session. Yeah, it was a, it was pretty hard. I, I think I played well and like the coach had a pretty, particular liking to me. He asked me why I was inter interested in the school and I said that because of the atmosphere I got there, got from playing against them and it was pretty lit. Like, he had a particular liking to me as I said and I thought that was that. So after that, we went and had lunch. It was pretty good. And they introduced us to the food system. So after that, uh, we had a tour of the school. So the once again, I've, been, I've seen this school before, but it was in further detail. That's when it was at the end. And actually, 
my dad, he was running a bit late from work. So I got to play basketball again in the afternoon when the other guys went home. But my dad had to come and pick me up from work. So yeah, that was the scholarship day basically. And after a while, like a, I think it was like a few months, they did offer me a scholarship. Like I was pretty gassed, but some things came up and I wasn't able to go to the school anymore. If you got this far in the video, thanks a lot. I do appreciate you. And leave a smiley face emoji in the comment section to show that you've got this far. So that's it. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want more content as a student like myself, subscribe and join the family. I'll see you guys next time.